Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and I'm back now with another video for the new Boston. This time we're going to be talking about databases. Now in this video I'm not going to teach you how to set up a database, how to write data to, etc, etc. But we're just going to talk about why a database is important in most real life um, application situations. Um, and we're also going to be talking about a bit about the MySQL database. Now this is also called MySQL, uh, you may hear people call it MySQL, but for the uh, duration of these tutorials I'm going to be calling it MySQL. Okay, so why do we need to use a database? Now you may have come across databases before in the format of say Excel, um, not Excel, sorry, Access, um, and other database applications where you can store values with specific column names and you can store these values as a row. I mean you can do that in Excel as well but okay so let's just get rid of these PHP tags and I'll take you through why we might want to store data in a database now if you've already looked at file handling you'll know that we've stored things we may have stored things like uh, a hit counter value in a file and then what we've done is we've opened the file up we've read the value in we've closed the file we may have then opened the value uh, the file up again to rewrite another value now this puts a huge amount of strain and complication as well on the whole process. Now let's say we wanted to write a value to a um, to a file. What we're doing is we're opening up that file, so we're reading file data. We are then um, writing a value to a file. What happens if we want, say, to include a username, a password, um, a first name? a surname and other data let's just say um, website so you may have hundreds and hundreds of records with people their username their password and you may want to create some kind of login system for this now you're not going to do very well if you're using files to store this data you can by all means use files to store this data However, it's a lot more secure and it's also a lot quicker to use a database. And in this case, we're going to be using MySQL because it is one of the fastest databases available to use. Now, MySQL is hosted on a server, so it will have, um, it will have its own port number. If we open up the XAMPP control panel, you can see that I've got this process MySQL and it's running at the moment. And I think it runs on by default. Let's have a look. Can't see. Uh, let's stop it and then restart it. So it's it's running on port 3306. Now from PHP you don't need to worry about this too much. You don't need to worry about accessing it you know, as a server. But we do use um, some functions to connect to our database and then we or connect to our server and then we uh, use a, another function to connect to the database itself. So you can have a variety amount of a variety of databases within um, MySQL, and then you can have a variety of tables inside them databases. Now a database would be say users. So this is my users database here. I've got username, so I'm going to say Alex. Password, I'm going to put pass one two three. First name is Alex. Surname is Garrett, and website phpacademy.org. So I've already put one record in for myself. Now this could uh, this uh, table we're looking at here. This is going to be a table. Could contain other data. So we could say Billy. Again, the password might be pass uh, four five six. Billy, Garrett, and uh, we might not have a website. So um, we are storing essentially data in this way. Now the way we can access this, access this is we can select our table. What we can then do. Um, yeah, so this is our table, our database name, uh, we'll just say table users, our database name might be called um, uh, PHP Academy for example, um, and our table might be called users. So now what we can do is let's say uh, we've stored, uh, you know, we're storing users, we can do this on the fly. But what we can do now is we can select different values. So I can 
execute something called a query which will select a specific amount of data from a specific row. Now usually you'd have an ID field um, on the start of a row um, and this this is this will be uh, created something called auto increment so you know what incrementation is it just increments every time so for each record created it's automatically um, increments and this uh, adds to the unique property of it and we can define a primary key for this ID and the primary key is just the unique field uh, or the new unique column name in your database 